Wait, should we marry someone from the Tinker family? An eco lifestyle? Oh my god, I completely, completely had forgotten that they even existed. I kind of figured they'd all be dead, but the fact that one of them is right here, we could be Tinker Tinker. Hello my friends and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. So there has been one pretty huge update since the last episode because we literally got an update for The Sims 4. We had talked a little bit about the vitiligo update and wanting to use it for May, but it wasn't out yet. So so now that we actually have the update, this is what May looks like in cast. I also tried to improve her outfits a tiny bit, like I gave her some more makeup and some accessories for her formal wear and stuff like that, but otherwise, this is what she looks like. And here's the plan for today. Obviously, everybody is like this close to aging up again, so we're gonna try to work on all of that and making sure that Tinker is ready to become a young adult because we're kind of like starting the new generation now. But I think I might also move out our older sister, Belle. So last episode, she became a young adult and we're kind of like in a rush because <laughs> I really would like for her to have grandkids before her parents die and they're gonna become elders in like two days so we're you know there's a bit of a time crunch now and I keep talking about trying to get Nina to divorce Yuki that's our number one priority <laughs> So this morning, as soon as it's like a reasonable time, that's the plan. Nobody is fully rested for some reason, so I'm gonna put them all back to bed. You are in the front yard, and is that a ghost cat? Oh my god, it's Betty! Oh, <laughs> that's our ghost cat! Oh, that hurts. Okay, wow. Um, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's just get everybody to bed. We will start fresh in the morning. Oh, it's talk like a pirate day. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Nina, you work from home today. I'm not going anywhere. You want to harvest a plant and achieve level five gardening skill? <laughs> Okay, I've kind of failed you there. I'm sorry. Okay, has anybody else been having this glitch where you have the sim weed the plant and the weeds don't go away? Oh, she's in the rain. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Go back inside. Well, there's a known problem where when you try and weed a plant, the weeds do not actually leave. So I might just cheat them for now. I don't know why that's been happening, but it's been happening. Okay, 8.15. It is a Saturday morning. I think that now is a good time, at least as good a time as any to get divorced. <laughs> so I'm gonna go find Yuki. I think I might bring her, you know what? She lives in Windenburg. I can meet her in Windenburg. This is a good chance to like go to the cafe or something. We don't normally get out here that much. Oh, and the weather's nicer out here too. Uh-oh, <laughs> we feel flirty. Okay, um, admire pirate booty. No, I'm just, take the residence key back first and foremost. We'll start there. Listen, Yuki, so here's the thing. We got married to you in sort of a, a whirlwind romance a couple weeks ago. And then the very day we got married, you tried to trick me into woohooing with you in a hot tub, and then I almost died. And then we haven't spoken since. So I think that we just, we're not really made for each other. We've, um, we've grown apart. <laughs> We've grown in different directions. It's it's probably for the best if, if we all just move on. Are you trying to like comfort her? No, we're all just uncomfortable. <laughs> would you say that Nina and Yuki have a difficult family dynamic? Yeah, <laughs> I would definitely say so actually. This is uncomfortable. Um, hmm, okay, well. Oh, Nina is deeply in love, but resentful about the divorce. Yuki's not in love. Let's just point that one out. I'm, I'm just saying, that's an interesting little detail. Yuki's only resentful, but she doesn't care to, she never cared to call us, nothing. We were married for weeks, I'm done. I need to go home. No, you know what? Should we get something from the cafe? Oh no, we can't get something from the cafe. Oh, I can order it. Oh, it lets me order it? Let's get the barista's recommendation. It's the most expensive thing on the menu. I don't really understand why it lets me order it because I'm a robot and I can't drink it, but <laughs> I'll try. I like how Yuki is also getting a drink. We divorced her two seconds ago, but she still is like, you know what, let's hang out. Let's grab a drink together. I could have waited. We could have like sat down at a table or something. I, I really just went straight for it, standing outside the front door. There's my own secret recipe. No, I won't share it with you. Oh, well, I can't drink it because <laughs> I'm a robot, but maybe could I bring it home? No. <gasps> okay. Um, this guy will steal my drink. You know what? You realize I got divorced today, right? Look, they're still sitting here fighting on their own. <sighs> okay. You know what? <laughs> This was one of my greatest mistakes in this whole let's play. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I thought Nina deserved love. It was a it was a bad idea. Yuki, she was a, a major misstep in our life, but everybody has that, you know? Everybody makes mistakes. I do feel really relieved now that it's handled though. Like I just, that's quite the weight off my shoulders. Oh my God, I brought her with me. <laughs> No, just go, just go, Yuki, please. That's not good. Okay, everybody else, though. First of all, Tinker has two days until they age up. Uh, I think that, oh, 
Hello? I think that number one priority right now is probably to just to try and finish as much of the scout stuff as we possibly can because I really want to finish all of the badges and we have the weekend so like let's just try and work on all of this. Specifically it's arts and crafts, good deeds, keep fit, and outdoor adventurer. <laughs> so we need to like catch fish and grill, dancing, exercising, good deeds is like taking out the trash and helping with homework. We don't even have trash to take out <laughs> but it's okay we can do it we can do it we can do it. I can solve this problem by myself right now. Now, watch. I'm gonna get a trash can. I'm gonna put it right there. I was gonna say I'll put the trash in it, but you can't. You can't. Okay. Oh, you know what? Anybody have any food in their inventory at all? Oh, you can clean up the plate? Oh, you know what? There should be spoiled food in here. Oh, good. Just get rid of the cakes. Here, empty the trash. I'll empty all the cakes individually. <laughs> this chili is spoiled too, for some reason. I don't know why we can't get it out of the fridge. I'm in range to get the responsible tray. Does this count as taking out the trash? I don't really know. Let's watch them closely and see if we get a little badge from it. Oh, we did. Oh, oh, just keep redoing the same thing over and over again then. <laughs> I'm sorry, but sometimes you gotta game the system. That was easy. Look, reset. Whoa, why did you jump so far away? Well, I guess I could have brought it over there. <laughs> guess that would make it easier. Just put it right nearby where I'm trying to take it out. Everyone, this is me doing my good deeds. Well, that'll be all my good deeds for the day. <laughs> I earned my scout badge from that. So that solves that problem. Would you like to come collect the badge? We do actually have a scout meeting that I have to go to, but I got a silver scouting trophy. That's all I cared about really. Oh, who's calling back? Bell. Oh, nobody. I don't even know who that is. Oh, they're in the basement singing. That's kind of cute. That's like a fun family moment. Okay, I like that. Not enough exercise from active trait. Oh my god. <gasps> it's prom. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, go for a little jog and then go for scouts, okay? Just go. Just go. Shoot. What are you doing? I've never noticed the parking on this lot before. I, I love how the area around this lot looks. I've never noticed the cars. I live right next to them. <laughs> My house is right here. And somehow I've never seen it before. Okay, they did get one of the little keep fit badges from that. So we gotta do it a few more times, but oh, Nina, I'm sorry. Rough day, rough day. That's okay. I know you're like really upset. <laughs> But let's cook a nice meal, you know, we'll have a good time together. And I guess while we're at Scouts, do you think that now would be a bad time to call up McKenna and like ask if she wants to move in with us? I, I mean, we graduated, we could get ourselves a job, we can kind of set up Belle's life. I always try to pretend like, oh, you know, we're going at a realistic timeline, but <laughs> oh, April and Belle can be close. Oh, that's cute. Okay, sorry. But I always try and act like we're doing something realistic, but again, it's short lifespan. Like there is no such thing. She has the active trait, so I, I might put her into, I don't know, like the athlete career. And I think McKenna should have either just gotten here or like be on her way. I don't, I don't see her. Oh, cause she's in the house. <laughs> Wait a minute. McKenna's in my bathtub. She's taking a mud bath in my house. She walks up to my mother's bathroom and takes a mud bath. I am sort of struggling to understand the motivations here. I mean, that bathroom is disgusting already, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, have you seen it? <laughs> this is the one that always catches on fire, so it's fine. But what a thing to do. Of all the bathrooms, I guess we only have, well, we have two bathtubs, both in my mom's room. But to take a mud bath at somebody else's house, like without even asking, you just walk up and start doing it. And now she's walking around in her towel in my parents' house. She's brave and she's confident. <gasps> the romance festival? Oh no, I probably can't go because it's prom. I don't think it's worth going. Like we should prioritize trying to go to prom today. Why is this fridge always got spoiled stuff in it? Oh, everything is spoiled. Okay, well, it's a good thing Nina's making us some food. <laughs> I'm gonna get Nina to keep trying to cook, actually. <laughs> cook fine grub. Make a fruit and yogurt parfait or something, I don't know. I'm trying to get everything clean, it's just gross out here. Huh? <laughs> This is like basically our cousin. This was our parents' best friend's kid when we were growing up. And he wants to go to the romance festival with me. I am so not interested in doing that, like actually at all. <laughs> no, thank you, but nice of you to ask. Again, I got plans. We're going to prom. Oh my God, why are you so tired? It's prom. Oh no. We are making so much money. <laughs> When we eventually build Tinker's house, we're gonna be thriving. Like, I'm not even worried about the money right now. We've got loads to work with. Okay, well, let's come be a little romantic, I guess. Propose? No, don't do that. Heave ho in hot tub? You can do that. Is the dog stuck? <gasps> oh my god, I never noticed. Wait, how did that happen? 
happen? Oh no. You know what? I, first of all, I'm gonna cheat your needs because I can't have the dog run away. I don't know how the dog got stuck behind this chair. It's a good thing I noticed that. Come here, get out. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm in build mode. That's trying to go me, send me to prom. Is it gonna break? Oh, it didn't break. Okay, that's weird that I was in build mode though. Ooh, I've never seen that happen before. Like a gameplay pop up while you're actively still in build mode. That can't be good, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Okay, well we look good. Let's just say that. All right, we look really cute right now. Nina lost her celebrity level. Oh no. The chaperones are out here. Are any of the other teens? Oh, they're all just sta standing inside. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's just standing around. Okay, well, I'm gonna come romance Frank, I think. I, I feel like it would be really cute if they slow dance together and then kiss. It's like straight out of the movies or something, having the first kiss at prom. Oh, we're dancing on the stage? Oh my. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little bit nervous. I like how these two are dancing on, on like half the stage and half not. What an interesting place to stand. Romance, first kiss, just go for it. You're gonna keep dancing, I know, but after that, just go for it. <laughs> Maybe I could have May try and meet somebody. This is Lucas, there's Cam. We may as well introduce ourselves to both. Okay, I don't think they're gonna stop. I'm gonna reset them. Uh-oh, huge mistake. Okay, sorry, we're fine. <laughs> first kiss, first kiss, first kiss. And then I wanna try and vote for us as prom royalty because I would love to win. Okay, we kind of blend into the curtains because of the lighting. That's cute. Oh, I don't know why Frank is dazed. Not anymore though. It's a steamy exchange, apparently. All right, let's come vote for prom royalty. I wanna vote for, maybe I'll have my Sims vote for each other. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have them each vote for their sibling. I honestly don't remember voting for prom court. Like I have no memory of that in high school. I don't remember who won either. I, I have like a vague memory of them announcing it at prom, but I just was so uninterested in that. I totally would not, I don't I don't remember even how it worked, but I guess my Sims care. So good for them. We're, we're just eating right now too. We're standing here just eating while they're announcing it. <laughs> Oh, prom royalty, Maybelle! Oh my god. Oh, and she's upset because she ate meat. <laughs> she violated her principles. Oh, congratulations. We won prom queen. Oh, that's kind of fun, actually. I feel great about that. <laughs> I'm really excited. Quinn Tinker is what, who won prom jester. That's hilarious. The wrong Tinker won. <laughs> We're Tinker, but not Quinn Tinker. Wait, should we marry someone from the Tinker family? In eco lifestyle? Oh my God. I completely, completely had forgotten that they even existed. I kind of figured they'd all be dead, but the fact that one of them is right here, we could be Tinker Tinker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Honestly, whoever our boyfriend is, Frank, I'm so sorry. You may have just gotten outshined. I hate to say it, but I, I think I might've just found the one. I'll probably give this sim a massive makeover, but like, just imagine for a second, okay? Imagine how perfect this could be. I think the event is glitched as well because we haven't gotten like the any stars, but that's okay. Oh, gold medal earned. Yeah, prom is glitched. <laughs> Let's go to the after party. We can bring like our friends, our cousins and stuff. We'll bring Frank, Emily can come. May and Quinn can come for sure. <laughs> they are definitely invited. Honestly, I'm just happy that prom worked in the first place, but also extremely happy that our sister won because that's pretty fun. Oh, I pressed impersonate mermaids. Is that gonna go? badly. Also, is it really terrible of me to be like talking to someone who isn't my boyfriend at prom right now? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he isn't actually my boyfriend. I'll ask him to be my boyfriend. We can still ask. We don't have to like move on and date Quinn yet. We can just be friends with Quinn. What? It? Okay. That's my cousin Bruce just laying on the floor. Tinker has a major crush on Quinn. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't intervene. The, those two in a row. Wowee, that sim is irresistible. Tinker has a major crush on Quinn. <laughs> Frank just became the boyfriend of Tinker. This is really bad. Why am I doing this? Again, I didn't do anything. This guy, this is who I pick, really? <laughs> What, what kind of outfit is that? Let's take a photo booth photo though with our actual boyfriend. <gasps> Mess around with Frank, whoa. Probably not yet. We're also gonna pass out. Like our energy is so low. Oh, this is our cousin, Emily. May's hanging out with her. That's actually really cute. I like that they're hanging out with friends. I, I really want to try and value our, our familial relationships, even though I'm doing a bad job at it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what if we just say you're besties, you know, with the cousins? <laughs> what if we just cheated a little? Oh, there's our other cousin. See, that's cute. Okay, did they actually take the photo though? Oh, we did. Okay, good. Mess around with Frank. In the photo booth? Really? I'll do it. Wow. I'm not that worried about it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> do you want to ride the romantic ride too? Oh, never mind. 
I believe we are going to pass out on the floor. The, the way that their little feet look when they're running like this is so funny. <laughs> and we're on the floor. Okay, successful prom, I would say. That went pretty well. Um, you know, we are asleep on the floor outside, but <laughs> it's fine. It happens, it happens. I, I think this is the kind of time where May is gonna say, you know what, I think we ought to go home. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it. Let's go back, actually. I didn't really expect that May would be the responsible one. And yet, here we are. <laughs> okay, don't bring everybody else back with us, please. Don't bring Frank. Let's just go home, just us. We'll go to sleep. We're gonna have to figure out something with uh, this Quinn situation, cause I, um, I'm a little bit <laughs> alarmed at what we've gotten ourselves into, but it's fine. I always said I wanted to have a, you know, nightmarish ending to a high school relationship. I, I didn't really anticipate that it would be Tinker as the cause. I sort of thought Frank would break our heart or something, but you know, <laughs> it makes Things interesting, I guess. Oh, another five star unit. Did they drop down? I feel like they were five stars. They must have dropped and gone back. I don't really care though. I'm not too worried about being a landlord today. <laughs> Why are you just standing on the stairs? Most of my Sims are like pretty well rested because everybody else did not stay out until 3 a.m. That was kind of just us. Okay, Tinker has one day until they age up into a young adult, which is really, really jarring. I, we're like, at this point, we're starting a new Let's Play. <laughs> Like, this is the new generation. We're gonna have to build a new house. We're gonna have to move. It's like, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I may stay here for a few more days. I don't really care to move out immediately. I might try and get Tinker a bit more like, you know, on their feet as an adult before we just up and move into our own house. But in the next couple of weeks, I think that we should probably build a new home so we can start the new generation. And I mean next couple of weeks in the real in real life. Oh no, garden blight? Oh my God, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be your job, I think. It tells me to select the blighted plants. What blighted plants? Oh, oh, they're down here. Okay, that's fine though. Nina's gonna like almost die for this. She's risking her life for this one. Oh no, she's an umbrella. Okay, well we fixed the garden blight event. Congratulations. Oh my God, Nina's not fine. <laughs> go inside, go inside. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> please go inside, Nina, please. Prepare yourself inside. I can't have you die for this. I can't have you die for this. Oh my God, she is gonna die for this. Our repair technician's coming. I called one by accident, but I'm not mad about that actually. And now the dogs in the trash. Is that them? Oh my god, they're gonna fix her. It's fine, it's fine. Nina, you're giving me quite the fright. I know I keep doing this. It's like my fault, but you can't keep almost dying like this. All right, let's call up McKenna again. Or maybe better yet, should I just move Belle out? Let's just move Belle and McKenna on our own. I think. We were talking about them moving into like the house next door, so it's not that big of a deal. They'll still be here, they just won't be here, <laughs> you know, so we can start having them start their own lives up. So I'll create a new household with Belle, and then this family is where McKenna lives. She has nine million dollars! <laughs> oh my god! Did you see that? Wow. Hold on. Can you give me like 50,000 or something? <laughs> Look at how much money they have. No, I'll be taking some of that, I believe. I'm I'm not here to just suffer through with no money. Okay, we can move into this house with our uncle. I think this will be kind of fun. It's where our grandparents used to live, but we'll keep it in the family. We'll, we'll move in kind of like right next door. I'm actually really tempted to play as this household for a second because I kind of want to see about them trying for a baby. Again, I know we're moving quick, but it's short lifespan. Like these things, they just have to happen, okay? If we want to have grandkids, Kids, this is our only opportunity because <laughs> my sims are going to die. I loved this house. It was so cute. And look, we even have like a kid's bedroom set up. Our, our uncle is, um, well, this is weird, isn't it? <laughs> Are we taking this room? Maybe. Ooh, look at how good the puddles look with the reflection of the water. That's pretty nice. Okay, well, we're trying for a baby in our grandparents' bed. It does make you feel a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> when you think about it like that. Oh, I shouldn't have checked. I checked. We're pregnant. Look, oh, life does come at you fast, huh? Eating for two. That's so fun. Here's a fun idea. How about this? What if we, oh, never mind. I can't. I was gonna say, what if we like start a pregnancy between them so McKenna is also pregnant, but it's not gonna let me, so I won't. But that's fine. We can have just the one baby. We don't need to have more babies than that. That's too many babies. What I can do and what I probably will do is like maybe switch up this room a little bit more and make it into like a room that these two could realistically share. <laughs> we'll let our uncle keep the other room, mostly just because I don't want to kick him out or anything. That makes me feel kind of mean, but this way they have their own double bed. And then I guess we can put the baby's crib in here too. I'll of course mess with this more once it's actually born, but that's a good start for now. So we're kind of set up there. Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> the 
Sims just posted a teaser? Ooh, look how sparkly. It must be the stuff pack trailer from the teaser. Oh, that's really fun. Okay, well, <laughs> tomorrow we're getting a stuff pack trailer. This is the second episode in a row that there's been huge Sims news in the beginning of it. Well, stay tuned for that because I'll be making a video reacting to the trailer tomorrow then. <laughs> I'm kind of excited now. That's really fun. Okay, well, now our house is a lot more empty around here and Tinker is dressed for the occasion because you're right, I am gonna force you to work on doing some scouting stuff. I think if we want to get the fitness one, I might just buy, you know what else? We can get rid of some of these school projects. Like this is too much. I'll get rid of that thing that keeps breaking too, but maybe I'll buy for outside. And this is maybe a bit weird, but at least for now, it probably wouldn't hurt if we got them like a, I don't know, a punching bag maybe. That is not cute, but it works. We can put it outside. Then you can come practice punching <laughs> until we get the scouting badge. They actually do like fitness. So this isn't a bad thing. How long do you have to practice punching for it to count for a badge? That's the real question. I'm not actually sure. Oh, is Nina fine? Oh yeah, she's okay. We're fine. You do a little self repair down here, okay? I forgot that they like fitness, but are lazy. That's so funny. Well, how are we supposed to get the badge then? We're never gonna get the keep fit badge. They're just gonna hate it the whole time. Yeah, that's not even working. The punching isn't even working. Catching fish, finding frogs, or grilling outdoors gets us the outdoorsy stuff. You know what? Do you want to grill? That could be good because we need the food in the house. Just standing in the rain next to this like weird broken plate. <laughs> Frilling. Oh, that totally counts. That's so easy. Yeah, make me a bunch of stuff. Just grill. I know you've got scouts today, but you can grill first. Ew. Look at the poor quality franks and beans. Get rid of that too. I don't even know how to fix this. I think if I put it on a table, maybe they can get rid of it more easily. It's like glitched in the sky. So whenever I try and click on getting rid of it, it stays there. I find it so overwhelming when I have this many Sims. There's just so much going on. That's part of why I had to get rid of the other one. Like I was just, it was too much. <laughs> it was too much. I'm sorry I called my child the other one, by the way, that was kind of mean. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> She's more than just the other one, but it does feel good to have her gone. Oh. Five stars again. Okay, thank you. I heard you and Frank started dating. Congrats on landing a new boyfriend. Thank you. That was my uncle calling about that one. Okay, is there any way that we can fish out here? Fishing also gets us the outdoorsy badge, but maybe it's better if I just grill because grilling gets us cooking skill and cooking skill is a useful one to have. Another five star unit. Okay, again, I haven't even talked to my family. I don't help them. I'm a terrible landlord, but if the game thinks I'm good, then that's fine. Well, this is really good because we were kind of running out of food and now the fridge is going to be full again. Oh, also, can you? You clean all this up because this is kind of gross. There's like empty food over here from the failed birthday party. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's the party where I didn't make the cake in time for May. And so she aged up on her own and got really sad about it. And then I just had these like spoiled drinks from her failed party sitting out on the table for weeks. I'm writing a couple books too, so we can try and get this aspiration finished. Oh no, that's our uncle Silver. He's old. Oh, I find that very distressing. <laughs> this really is like the end of an era with us right now, isn't it? Okay, let's collect the outdoor adventurer badge. We've got that one ready. Oh, Nina just set the table outside. That's cute. I'm sorry, I am gonna make you jog. I know you don't want to. I know you don't want to. I am gonna make you though. You're a very confusing person, but I really wanna like get the badge finished, so. <laughs> yeah, they never finish this either. I'm terrible. Well, I guess we'll go to school tomorrow and it'll be our last day as a teen. <laughs> So next episode, we're gonna age up. Oh my God, this is too much, too much. All right, you need to come upstairs. You need to like shower or something and then I'll let you just go to bed. It's already 10.30. Why are you asleep on the bench outside? Come in. Oh, we have three books to publish? How did that happen? Oh, that's my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I was just sitting on those for so long. All right, well, we're back to being a celebrity. We only have to publish two more to finish the uh, this part of the aspiration. Okay, walk slowly, that's fine. <laughs> Just pee your pants, I guess, by accident while you do it. How long is it gonna take you to get back home? I'm sorry for making you clean the toilet after you showered. <laughs> That's my bad. And now all of a sudden it's 1 a.m. We haven't gone to bed yet. Ugh. It's okay. Why is it dirty again? Oh my God, I'm making Nina do it. She can come mop and clean up the house a bit. That's fine. Is there anything else that needs cleaning? I mean, this bathroom, but it's just gonna get dirty again. So it's not the biggest of priorities, I guess. <laughs> There's little baby toys on the back of the toilet seat. Did somebody put those there when they were trying to clean the house up at some point a long time ago? Oh, that could like actually make me cry. The thought of that. Our little toys from when they were kids <laughs> just out there. Oh my God. <laughs> Celebrate Tinker's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. I'm not ready for that yet, actually. I don't think I'm prepared for this one. It just, it came so fast. Like all of a sudden it's the new generation. I don't know. <laughs> it's making me feel a bit weird. Before we end the episode today, uh, what I do kind of want to do is call up 
that person, Quinn. I'm kind of curious to go into Cass and see what they're like, but I can't remember their name. <laughs> oh, Quinn, there we go. I'm gonna do what I need to do just for a second here, because I'm gonna summon the Sims so I can get them in Cass. I just need to know, okay? I just need to know. When I was a child, I used to be obsessed with the name Quinn. I thought it was like the coolest name on the planet. Okay, so this is what Quinn looks like in Cass. Unfortunately, we've got the spellcraft and sorcery aspiration, which I may get rid of. We're a geek and neat. Those are fantastic traits. This is what they look like up close. I might give this sim a little bit of a makeover. I'd kind of like to use the newer freckles instead. I love that they're freckled, but I kind of want to give them like the freckles all over from growing together instead of the base game ones. Okay, well, I am like officially kind of obsessed with this sim. I must say I'm really excited about Quinn. <laughs> I'm so sorry to the other guy. I kind of forgot what his name was, but I, I like this one better. I think the tinker thing is just too good to pass up. Like we have to do it. We have to do it. I'm so unsure what I want them to look like that I'm randomizing hairstyles trying to see what could be good. <laughs> I think that honestly it'll be interesting to see what comes in the new pack, this stuff pack that they're supposedly announcing tomorrow because I wouldn't be opposed to using that. I do like this hair. That's from Realm of Magic. That's kind of cute. We could try that one and then it's like a little nod to their previous Realm of Magic aspiration. Honestly, I might have Quinn use they them pronouns as well. They like the color brown. They hate classical music. They hate hardworking sims. <laughs> okay, we enjoy poly and streetwear fashion. We hate cooking and we like boho decor. That's fine. You can hate cooking. I can cook. That's fine. Although a sim hating cooking is going to be very inconvenient to have in my household. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to give them a bit of a makeover. Here's kind of what I've got so far for Quinn. I picked some new outfits and accessories and stuff. I don't really know what their aspiration should be. So maybe I'll pick a teen one and see if the game can re-roll again when they age up into a young adult and we'll see what we get. I'm okay with randomized stuff, but I just don't want to be a spellcaster. So <laughs> I'll get rid of that one, okay? I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, because we're not even actually dating this sim yet, but I kind of like them. I think that they would be cute. So let me know what you all think. I was fully planning on making a sim like from scratch for Tinker to date, but this is better, right? I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments. I won't like do anything romantic yet. We're not cheating on our partner, don't worry. <laughs> I just need some feedback, okay? Also, if you've got any ideas for what kind of house Tinker might live in, we can start trying to brainstorm a little bit for that too. I'm not gonna build it just yet. Like I said, I kinda wanna wait and live here at least for a few more days in game, but we'll need to build something soon. So if you have a preference for where it should be, should it be in one of these townhouses? Like I, I'm not really opposed to that. I, I don't know yet, so. <laughs> I'm open to moving though, because it is kind of fun to move around. We could always live in a small or townhouse with just like us and our parents next door or something, but I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. And I think on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow for the trailer reaction. Actually. Oh my gosh. That's exciting. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> bye everybody. Honestly, I don't know if I want to be in a townhouse. I kind of want a bigger house so we can have the whole family living in it with our parents never moving out. But let me know. Let me know.